art group at the Johns Hopkins University as part of the Music Research Laboratory and the NSF Engineering Research Center has developed a direct 3D ultrasound to video registration method using the photoacoustic effect. Video fusion and virtual reality are common forms of information support in laparoscopic procedures. As you can see in the figure to the right, an ultrasound image is overlay onto an endoscopic camera view, allowing the surgeon to visualize a tumor that would otherwise be difficult to locate. To actually overlay the ultrasound image in the endoscopic camera view, a surgical navigation system must first be integrated with existing tools and devices. The figure shown in the bottom is a common system that uses an electromagnetic tracker. A disadvantage of using such a system is that there are many wires and electromagnetic sensors causing clutter at the surgical site. This figure shows the chain of transformations necessary to acquire the transformation from the stereo camera coordinate system to the ultrasound coordinate system. The error in the stereo camera's tracking software is submillimeter and is generally considered negligible in these applications. However, the transformation from the marker to the ultrasound must be acquired with a calibration process. Literature has shown that this process will generate errors of approximately 3 millimeters. We propose a solution that uses the photoacoustic effect. The photoacoustic effect is a phenomenon where laser energy is absorbed by the tissue and converted into thermal energy. The thermal energy causes the tissue to expand, generating an acoustic wave. In this solution, each of the laser points can be seen in the stereo camera as a 3D point. Due to the photoacoustic effect, each of these points will also generate a corresponding acoustic wave that can be seen as a point source with a conventional 3D ultrasound transducer. Thus, we have two 3D point sets that are directly related to each other, and we can perform any rigid registration method. In contrast with the standard systems where a chain of transformations must be computed to get the desired stereo camera to ultrasound transformation, this method allows this transformation to be directly computed with the two 3D point sets. We will show that the registration errors using this method are lower than conventional methods because no calibration is necessary. We will briefly describe the methods and some of the outputs at specific steps. This is an example of a stereo camera image of our experiment using an exigo liver phantom. As you can see, the transducer is placed behind the phantom. This process is repeated for each of the laser spots as they are currently being sequentially projected. During the collection of stereo camera images, there are certain background frames which are devoid of the laser signal. By performing a background subtraction, it becomes much simpler to segment the stereo camera spot. We fit an ellipse around the segmented stereo camera spot and compute an intensity weighted sensor. We do this for both the left and right images of a particular set and triangulate the two points to acquire a single 3D point. This is an example of what a filtered photoacoustic point signal looks like in an ultrasound image. In each ultrasound volume, we take each image and project its mean intensity along the axial axis. This results in a lateral elevational image. We can then compute an intensity weighted sensor and use bilinear interpolation to determine the axial point. The table shows our target registration error results. We use the leave one out method where each point is subsequently used as the test point, while the rest of the points are used in the coherent point drift algorithm to compute a transformation. We achieve a mean error of 560 microns and a standard deviation of 280 microns for a black synthetic phantom. We were also able to achieve a mean error of 420 microns and a standard deviation of 150 microns for the ex vivo liver tissue phantom. We note here that these results are much better than the results currently in literature. Here we show an animation overlaying a representation of the ultrasound image onto a stereo camera image using one of the computed transformations. These are some of the references used in this presentation. We wish to thank some of our colleagues in the Music Research Laboratory. We also thank NSF and the Johns Hopkins University for their funding support. The full-length paper can be found in the Lecture Notes in Computer Science for Mackay 2012. If you have any questions, you can email me at achang22 at jhu.edu.